So I'm going to give you a tech tip. Don't worry. Um, it's going to actually be on uh, Microsoft Teams, but even if you don't use Teams, stick around because there's a few other things I'm going to tell you that could apply to really any tech program that you have. And it's kind of all about, you know, what kind of rules and order do you have to things? And so let's start by saying, you know, if you're in an work environment, an organization, do you guys have, you know, um, a policy manual for the employees? Do you have a job description for yourself? Are there some standards in place so that you know what's expected of you, what they expect, and, and you kind of all, you know, try and toe the line that way. So the question here that I'm um, putting forth is really about your tech policies and rules. Because if you ask three people, well, let me just go more than three people. If you ask five people how they deal with email, you're probably going to get five different answers. If you ask five people how they deal with storing files, you're probably going to get another five different answers. And if you ask five people what program they use the most or they like the most or whatever, you're going to get different answers. So we're, we're all, of course, very different. And that's what makes us so wonderful, right? And so fun to be around. But we do have to have a little bit of order. And with that order, we can take that overwhelming piece of tech and make it less overwhelming. We can make it more understandable because we say we're going to use this thing for this reason. We don't just sort of open the doors and go, hey, everybody, just jump on in, take this program, start using it however you want. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter. Right? No, you ha should have a purpose behind it. Right? So what, why are you using that program? Um, so let's, let's, let's talk about that. So it, I have a slide, but I think I'm just rattling on too much. So do you want, you know, this is the only picture I can figure out to, uh, that could explain to this. Do you want sort of a... This kind of looks like a bit of order there, but there's a lot of different pieces going in here where, you know, lots of different stuff happening. So, you know, you, you can be one organization that's kind of connected, but you have a lot of different pieces going in different directions. Um, or do you want to have some kind of standard so that you can say, you know, let's let's make sure we understand this this way that we set um, for how we should apply this technology will work best for our company because of this, right? So if you're going to, if you're going to apply standards, by the way, you need to say why you're applying them. And it, and, and it shouldn't be like a, um, a dictatorship in terms of applying standards. You don't just say, Hey people, we're just going to do this and this and this. Don't ask any questions. Just do it right. You're going to, you're going to probably talk to people, find out their ideas and, and, and discuss it a bit and, and make sure the whole team or the whole groups on board or the people that kind of make the decisions are with you. And then you're going to go about making some decisions on what those standards look like. So, so let's see how this applies to tech. Um, so I'm going to show you an example within teams and I'm, yeah, and, and this could be, you know, again, you guys, if you're not in Microsoft Teams, you know, still, if you're interested in continuing watching, then please do, because this can still be about um, how you use email. So how you use Outlook in your office, um, how you use Excel spreadsheets in your office, how do you keep track of notes in your office? Like, I, you know, I know uh, there's a lot of freedom given uh, in most offices and you don't want to take that away, but sometimes you need to give a bit of standards for people so that they know in, in the end that's going to make their life easier right if, if if you have a method that you think can work well for people and it's going to you know give them a bit more productivity and maybe less stress then why not share it why you know as opposed to letting them just say ah, do whatever you want i don't care use paper if you want to is that why you buy the computer and all those programs? No, right? So you want to use the systems. So in Teams, what I'm showing you here is I'm in a team called Mission. That's on the left side here. I'm in a channel called General. Every team comes with channels and every channel has a general channel. So the general channel could be where you kind of put that general information out there. So this is the mission office team. Well, actually we have an office team, but this is the mission company team and our general channel, we're going to use what's called the wiki. So at the top here, I'm on wiki, like Wikipedia, um, to describe what our team is about. So this is where we can get into detail of what are the standards and we can have, it's, it's kind of divided into little sections here and notes 
And so they show on the side here, but they also show down this way. So if I wanted to say, okay, what do we do with Excel? Okay, hang on. And I click on Excel and then that takes me to um, Excel on my, kind of doesn't really point me directly to it, but my, my, my uh, page here isn't very long, so it's not quite as exciting as if it was like a 10 page document. But what I'm getting at is this could be like your, you know, you have employee policies. This could be your policies on how you use this team, right? So the Wikipedia can define what you want to use that team for. And that's where you can say, hey guys, let's use the chat for this reason. Or let's use Teams for that reason. So you're, so you want to, maybe that would be your topic. You'd say chat, Teams, meetings, and then you talk about recordings. You talk about all the things that Teams gives you the ability to do that you would hope the group is going to utilize. And then you give them some ideas of what to expect or what, you know, how to use that. So I was talking to a client actually today uh, kind of about this and he was saying that he was using Teams and the, um, you know, one of the, one of the questions that they had or were, you know, his questions was uh, that he sent a chat to somebody and then that person had, um, and throughout the day he actually sent a few chats to him and the person got back to him on the second chat, but not the first one. It's like, well, how do we organize all that? Or how do we see that? And do I have to look at my chat as soon as it comes in? Or should I wait to look at it at, you know, five o'clock or, you know, or not, it's not five o'clock, but at, at, you know, at one o'clock or at 10 o'clock. So what are the standards? And that's kind of where you have to be careful, you know, that we, that we lay that out. Because if you in, implement a program like this, where there's, chat functionality in it and there's all you know so there's all these little you know how you get the little bubbles on things so it says there's new information there any of you um kind of addicted to the bubbles where you have to as soon as a little bubble pops up on your phone you have to go okay what's what's there what's what's in facebook or what's in what's in my email what's in my messages i can get rid of that bubble you know if you re if you're reactionary to your information then it may not be serving you well when you're at work. So think about what can you do to help people so that they're not reacting to, well, I see I have 17 new chats. Maybe I should go in there right away, right now, rather than finish what I'm doing. So just think through that because we don't want to give people a new tool that they're going to get more distractions from and not have any standard, standards or guidelines around it. So Wiki, this piece I'm showing you here is a place where you could use it as a standard practice guide in terms of this is a blank. I, I just filled mine in with a bunch of stuff, but you would fill it in with what are all the standard practices. And this is where you, you may have to talk to your team about this in the beginning as to what makes sense. But I need you to start thinking about this because if you're going to take on a program of this size, you need to have a plan and you need to have some best practices. All right. So that's it for me for today. I just wanted to give you some food for thought. And uh, yeah, that's 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 where I'm going to leave you. OK, so you have a little bit of homework. OK, bye bye.